and staying in that place of resonance, of vibration that brings us all together in one note, one beautiful heartbeat. Each individual heart beating and then as one heartbeat one heartbeat of love and compassion in this family gathering today in the resonance of the day's energy all of it together synchronistic beautiful reaching the arms of spirit around us holding us acknowledging who we are why we're here the love that we share the heart that we share My partner steps aside. Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. And so you heard the science and the puzzles today. Not all of those listening to this message will have that. They did not hear the scientist and teacher Greg. But those who have followed the Cryon work who have heard the teachings of the scientists, they will see the similarities. 25 years ago, I came and I said this to you, the magnetic grid of this planet is needed for life. It was echoed yet today. The magnetic grid of this planet profoundly affects your DNA. It even postures its efficiency. In so many words, you heard it today. Scientific puzzles abound. That which you do not understand is such an amazing opportunity to fill a void with magnificence. Not with knowledge, but more with the wisdom and the source of the wisdom on this planet comes from those who are wise who have lived before. There is a well for you to call upon and science knows it. The wisest ones on the planet at the moment are the ancestors and the futurists. But they both have something in common. They understand that things are changing on this planet. The ancestors, the indigenous and the elders stand before you ready to share. The futurists are the ones who are taking what is being shared and planning the future. And all of this leads to one thing, change. One of the dear ones today in the group has asked, is there hope? Is there information of hope? If that dear one had been following the crying work, you'd know that I have been labeled as the Pollyanna channel. <laughs> Not only hope. Based upon what we have seen, the potentials, and what you've done in the last 50 years, more than hope. More than hope. You are already accomplishing the impossible. In review, we have told you that the survival, the old energy, is starting to shift and change. There is an old pattern that is social of humanity, the way it behaves, the way it acts, the cycles of performance and non-performance. These cycles have actually been tracked and the ones who have tracked them have been the elders. 
If you want to know the esoterics of the Mayan calendar, it is not in days. It is not in calendar years. It is not in their math, which is not yours. It is in the cycles of human evolution. They have tracked the cycles of enlightenment, dark and light. And this is the basis of their calendar. Now listen to me. It ended at the precession of the equinoxes where the prophecies said there would be change. The beginning of the fifth cycle of humanity should mean something to some of you and nothing to some of you. Five means change in Tibetan numerology. Listen to this. The Tibetans knew it. The calendar ended because an old cycle of non-performance had ended. The long count represented a humanity in the dark, repeating and repeating and repeating the survival consciousness of separation. We have told you this many times. More than hope. The new calendar of the Mayans talk about a humanity that will have the potential of an evolutionary change, an enlightenment factor, awareness that this planet had never seen before, if you made it. If you made it. And when some of you were born, there was no, no signal you were going to make it. Instead, there was the prophecy of destruction, Armageddon, religious beliefs of the masters returning, a wiping away of all that was. All of these metaphors may have happened. But they didn't happen here. <laughs> In fact, you saw other things you did not expect. More than hope. There is a new paradigm before you and it starts with awareness and it's awareness of who you are and also what is around you. The question, who are you, is beginning to be answered. And the more you study it, the more you realize, who are you? You are family. And family is compassionate with family. What was the message I gave you? not too long ago, specifically designed and controversial for all those who would say they are esoterically minded and new age. What was the message? Do you remember? And it was this, it is time to stop being weird. <laughs> because it separates you from society. Don't be proud that you think differently. Instead, turn this around and become like the masters are that is compassionate, tolerant, wise, and forgiving. What was the message we gave you and told you? The two words that you could practice over and over that would be the key to the new age, and that is compassionate action. We've been telling you this now for two years. I want to review with you a little bit of what this means and I want to tell you there is no puzzle here. I want you to separate that which you believe in in an old energy in three dimensions completely from the future. What does the old energy say is going to happen on this planet? Number one, they're not mentioning what didn't happen. It's not in their paradigm. They don't understand it. They're ignoring it. Instead, they are holding on to a belief that it must change and come to an end. If you've noticed, there are some beliefs when it looks like humanity is in trouble, when there is problems in the Middle East, they're dancing. And they're saying, I told you so. You see, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. In other words, there are those dedicated 
to the old energy. Now, did I have to tell you that? The old energy will die hard because it represents those who need to control, who need to hang on to that which they believe absolutely is so. And yet it's changing before your eyes and before their eyes. We told you what the biggest difference would be and you've heard it today echoed in the science. The old energy would have you separate and be in the dark and not even be able to see one another, compete for resources and war. Past 2012, we told you that there was a shift coming in human consciousness and a recalibration. Where you would start to figure out that combination and putting things together was the key and not separating. We gave you information even about corporate structure. We even told you about government. We told you that it was diametrically opposed to everything you see in nature and the body. We told you that the more complex nature becomes, the more complex the body becomes, the better it functions. But human beings in an old energy who are not elegant enough to see it, the more humans trying to do a single task, the stupider they become. And you prove it with government. You prove it with corporate. And sometimes it becomes totally and completely dysfunctional. Now let me give you common sense. Dear ones, that is about to change. You are going to start becoming wise. The wisdom factor that we have discussed is going to start to put together things in a different way. We even mentioned this. What about a corporation without managers? How could this be? It's a paradigm you haven't seen, and it'll work. But it requires a different consciousness of worker. This is yet to be seen. What about government that knows what it's doing? Compassionate. Doesn't separate. Puts together. You haven't seen it yet but it's coming. Is there hope? More than hope. You turned the corner, dear ones. You have made it this far. We said to you we changed the magnetic grid of the planet with an entourage that left in 2002 and we said that the magnetic grid would change more in 10 years than it had in 100 and it did. You can measure it with a compass. You can look it up. And the reason was so that your DNA would be postured for a new consciousness and something coming at you from the solar system. Now my partner will discuss that a little bit tomorrow. It all starts to fit, dear ones, into what the scientists are seeing, into the puzzles that are being presented. Now, I want to give you some new information. We said to you that paradigm shifts are upon you. We also told you that you're going to see on your news and in other places that you would trust those who are still in the old energy telling you it's not getting better. Dear ones, do not fault them. Being in the old energy is not something you want to judge someone for. For at some level, all of you are. Getting out of it and coming into a new field of thought and belief and awareness takes courage. It takes time. I plant seeds even in this day for those who will start to analyze what we are saying and look for its validation and its truth for self-awareness. If you can judge these things by how my partner reacted to when I showed up, it's a miracle I'm here. 
stubbornness of humanity is known. Dear ones, why wouldn't it be so? How many years have you wallowed in a certain paradigm? And that is what you've had life after life. The illusion is about the change. <laughs> Consciousness is recalibrating itself. The wisdom factor is at hand. There will be many humans who will start to come forward knowing that they've got to treat things differently. One week ago, I sat in this chair in another city. And I said things that were comparable to what I'm saying now. I said, You've seen the dark side, and they all have names and initials. And if you watch the news, you're appalled by what they're doing, and how hateful they are, and how the actions are so abominable. It hurts your heart to think that there could be such a thing. And I said to you, where is the light? I said to you that humanity was going to have to put together their own coalitions and give it names and initials representing those who would stand together as a civilization against what they do not want to happen again. And at the moment that I was talking about it, there were a million people in France that were doing it. The few can affect the many if the few do nothing. And the old paradigm has the few controlling the many through fear. And that, my dear human, is going to change. It's already started. Civilization is going to turn a corner and decide what they want. That is a recalibration of human consciousness. It has begun. It is all we've talked about. Now let's talk about some other systems that you would think are random. And they're not. That will begin to shift because you're shifting. They are systems you believe you create and you run. Maybe not. This is difficult. The premise is this. The recalibration of humanity is the recalibration of all things. Now the teacher and scientist Greg told you that there is proof of consciousness over physics. That means that consciousness has energy, force, power. And not just with humanity. It'll change the very fabric of the way things work on the planet for consciousness is the key to everything. We told you within the grids of the planet that they are listening, that they're a benevolent change, that they actually work for you. Is it possible that physics might change because consciousness will make it so? That's, that is a proposition. Economics. What do you know about it? And the answer is very little. You trust the experts, don't you? It's starting to change. Let me give you another premise. Unbalance and dysfunction has been an old energy staple. You expect it, don't you? You expect it everywhere. Based upon the news, it's not changed at all. What if I told you that very much the likely possibility is as you change your consciousness, all the things that you think are static, that don't have life, that don't have consciousness, are also going to change because you have changed the fabric of your reality. Difficult to explain. Have you ever heard from this chair me say to you, dear human being, what you think is what you get. Dear human being, change the reality of who you are and create something that you don't think you are. 
would this not indicate to you that there is the possibility that your consciousness is grander than you think with the human being beginning to change the consciousness of the earth very slightly very slowly other things will start to change things that are unbalanced and dysfunctional in any way will start to change by themselves because consciousness has deemed it economics what do you know well here's a couple of puzzling questions for you why is the price of oil so low have you ever seen it in your lifetime <laughs> honestly don't you understand the paradigm of economics is that oil always goes up the pump price never really goes down much and have you noticed that it goes up when you need it and down when you don't does that give you any indication that maybe just maybe it's a bit dysfunctional maybe it's being controlled why is it so low and there will be those who would say well it's being controlled low and let me ask you and how does that help those who sell oil it doesn't is there a possibility something has happened to show you that there is a change in the unbalance the principles of economics are supposed to work with human need desire want it is a free flowing system based upon the consciousness of humans and it hasn't been all this to say if it's out of balance it will not tolerate it this is part of the new premise can something as static as dry as economics start to recalibrate because you did and the answer is yes those who wish to control as they have before will find it almost impossible to do so and they won't know why control will cause dysfunction double what you've ever seen those governments who try to control it the most will have the worst effect watch for it you see it wants to be balanced could economics have consciousness these are puzzling questions the answer is yes it wants to be balanced everything does you will see Gaia start to shift does it want to be balanced yes we've talked about the oceans many times humans will tell you you're in a cycle and you've destroyed life it's all your fault there are no fish no reefs and we have told you something completely and totally different that if you look at the ice cores and you look at the rings of the trees you're gonna find it's a cycle that's happened before this one has been accelerated because you changed the paradigm and you're gonna stay the oceans must refresh themselves we have said it before that even the most elite of you who have the tropical fish know that every few years you gotta change the water <laughs> you can't do it on the planet but what you can do is have temperature changes that will shift and change what grows what doesn't grow and renew it all I challenge those scientists to find it in the ice cores you are in a renewal process on the weather and in the oceans and it's for you all of it you may not see it in your lifetime but then again define lifetime for me <laughs> you'll see it an acknowledgement the fish are coming back it's a miracle now, how could that happen when industry destroyed it and there's still industry paradigm shifts will occur so that the cycles you've been told about are not necessarily true anymore number two government 
It's going to take a while. Dear ones, <laughs> it's going to get softer. It's going to have common sense. But I will tell you yet again, when the few try to affect the many, they can do it if the many do nothing. <laughs> I want you to analyze this and see that an enlightened creature on this planet can make a difference not from being strange but being from compassionate and forgiving and tolerant you're going to go looking for leaders eventually who are compassion tolerant forgiving and you'll be right to do so and right now it's a new paradigm You're hearing those on the news say you're in a war cycle. You heard it today. The war cycle is the description of an old energy cycle that reflects something mathematically which has been seen and designed hmm, where you're overdue for another war. Based on the past, you're overdue. What happened 50 years ago? Did you notice? You took Europe's greatest enemies, the ones who had conquered each other over and over for a thousand years or more, and put them together in a trading coalition, and some say it's not going to work. For 50 years it's worked. Today the value of their currency is far beyond those who sit here in this country. Perhaps it is working. There are those who say it never will. It may have to be changed, but I want you to see the paradigm putting together things instead of tearing them apart has created something you never saw on this planet before. And in its infancy, dear ones, it's done a pretty good job. Did you ever look at that? What is next? Perhaps other coalitions between other countries, perhaps other trade organizations. It's catchy, you know, like a disease. Consciousness and wisdom will be seen and emulated. But there are still those who are going to say you're overdue for a war. They'll point to the bear and they say it's coming back. Look at what it's doing. It's coming back. Be afraid. I want to tell you something. They haven't got a chance. The old energy of governments who want to shield the truth from their people and control them in an old way and make you fearful will be seen for what they are more than ever before and the world will simply shut them out they won't have the funding they won't have the resources that they will need they won't have the food if they can't grow it themselves this planet needs a coalition of human beings who help one another there's too many of you to shut the door and say, I am going to be that which is, uh, what you'd say, independent. You can't. Not anymore. You all need each other. And by putting things together and making common sense and working the hard puzzles of unequal economies, making it work so that a win-win situation will create peace on earth. And there are a few holdouts who don't want it. And they're going to stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> You're going to see what I'm talking about as things go forward. We've said, we've said it before. Watch the news if you wish. But it's going to frighten you. They have an agenda to frighten you. And if they do, you buy their products. Isn't this interesting? This is an old paradigm and it also will change. It will be those who find listenership, viewership will be based upon good news, compassion, feeling good. Watch for it, it's coming. The internet already has it. Videos that are going viral are not bad news if you noticed it reflects a human consciousness that's beginning to shift apart from the paradigm of marketing you don't know what you don't know 
Finally, biology. It is not going to remain the same. Biology is going to start building bridges from the conscious to the innate. Now, for those who are not in the room, this is going to be difficult because I'm going to tell you something that will not make sense. For tomorrow, there will be an example of what we're talking about shown by the speaker and scientist and teacher, Greg. The body is ready and waiting for modalities that you think are miraculous. And we have told you what they are, and we have explained it over and over. We have told you that the evolution of DNA creates a more efficient DNA that will start cooperating and working even better than it has before. There's going to be a sonority of frequencies difficult to explain that have always been there, ready to be seen and used for extended life. There's an elegance of your biology you've never seen. You sit in the dark, dear ones. You have no idea what is really lurking in there. Beautiful system of self-healing and balance. It wants to be balanced. And it hasn't been. Why should disease attack your body and your brain has no idea even what's in your bloodstream? Do you think there is a missing bridge here? And there is. I want you to stand by for things you didn't expect. There's going to be what we're going to call a coherence that has never been there before. And it's going to come naturally with something else and that is what the magnetic grid is going to be doing for you and it's time my partner will explain a little more tomorrow we've told you about it you are entering a kind of space in this solar system you've never seen before and it contains odd and unusual aspects of what you call energy some fear it You'll have an explanation. How many of you? How many of you have had the courage to look at everything and say, it's about time. We got this. <laughs> For it's going to change the magnetic field. It's going to change the quantum arrangement between the magnetics, which is a multidimensional field, and that from the Merkaba, which is also a multidimensional field around your DNA. Human beings create energy. You might even say they radiate. They're simply sitting there ready for the next step. And it's coming. You don't have to do it yourself. You just got to hang on <laughs> and accept the change and the paradigm shift, a way of thinking and getting out of the thousands of years of thinking survival. And instead of survival by being in the cave, it's going to be survival by peace on earth. Hmm? It's coming. That's the message. Can you celebrate it? Can you believe it? Cognizing the truth of it all is the hardest thing that the old soul is going to do this time around. The young people being born have an edge on you. They can feel a difference. They know it, and you're in a status of learning it. <laughs> Let the old souls of this planet relax. Don't be different. Be like the masters. Here is the judge. Are you doing a good job being an old soul on the planet? Are you getting it or not? And here is the litmus test. 
If people are running away from you and crossing the street when they see you, you're not. <laughs> if they're knocking on your door because you're a compassionate person and they just want to be with you, you are. It is as simple as that. Who are you? <laughs> you're the one that personifies compassion and tolerance and the beginning of a new consciousness. And you wonder why we love you. And so it is.